The transition towards fully automated driving has undeniably started and is accelerating quickly. More and more automated systems are implemented in cars to support us with improved safety, optimized traffic flow, sustainable driving and travel comfort. Evaluation of such automated systems is difficult and complex and will become even more difficult when the level of automation increases. Automated driving features have to be able to continuously make correct decisions. To test all possible influences, hundreds of millions of kilometers have to be driven. This is very expensive, unpractical and not feasible. Therefore, alternative test methods are required for the transition towards safe automated driving. To determine requirements for such evaluation methods, we performed an automated driving test at the public A270 highway between Helmont and Eindhoven. These help to define requirements for the assessment methodology. In our test, the first car is controlled manually, including heading, speed, acceleration and deceleration. The second car uses radar and camera sensors and is linked to the first car with cooperative advanced cruise control. It receives information on the state and the intention of the first car through an automotive spec Wi-Fi connection. This makes it possible to use the very short time headway of only 0.3 seconds. In a similar way, car number 3 is linked to car number 2. Not just in a longitudinal way, but also laterally as in car following. This was the first test in full compliance with the new RDW regulations for tests regarding automated driving on Dutch public roads. Together with our project partners TAS and NXP, TNO recorded all in-car signals, including control signals, sensor information, Wi-Fi and status messages during the four-hour car platoon test. We even recorded all camera and Wi-Fi communication by the roadside units positioned every 100 meters along the A270 highway. The recorded data provides very valuable information on typical scenarios that occur on the public road. The next challenge is to identify and classify typical scenarios out of the big data set. Such scenarios are indispensable for the safety evaluation of automated driving functions in all development stages of such functions. During our platoon test, we noticed a dip in the accuracy of the car positioning signal every time the platoon passed a flyover. Our team will continue to research how to ensure a reliable, continuous flow of essential data towards automated cars. This will facilitate stakeholders and road authorities with better research possibilities and help to understand how future test scenarios can be best recorded and implemented for sensor and system evaluation. The research findings will help extend regional ambitions and create a better understanding regarding automated driving. For more information and future pilots and events, please visit tno.nl.